Are you thinking about Davie, Florida? Are you curious and want to know more about it? Today, I'm going to give you an exclusive tour of Davie. I'm going to show you three different communities with three different properties at three different price points so you can see what fits with your budget. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to show you some of the area's best things to do with family, kids, whatever it may be, the nightlife. You're going to want to stick around until the end to see all of that. My name is Michael Valencia. I'm a top producer and realtor with Lamarque Realty, and this is Living in South Florida. So every day we get phone calls and emails from people just like you that are looking to make their move to South Florida and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days or you just want to know more about the areas, give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. All of my information is going to be in the description below so I can help you make a smooth move to South Florida. As I mentioned today, we are in Davie and in the very first community that I'm visiting, I'm in the Riverstone community. Uh, as you can see, it's very greenery, um, high-end community uh, located on the west side of Davie, pretty much as west as you can go. We're right up against I-75. Riverstone, as you can probably see right behind me, it is a closed gated community. It's a manned gated guard. There's a fountain on a lake right there behind me. Um, only one entrance for the entire community. There's only one property for sale here and I'm gonna walk by and show you that property here in a little bit, but I wanted you guys to kind of see the common grounds. Um, because it is a closed gated community, it's, uh, you're gonna have an HOA. The HOA payment here is $315 per month, and that includes taking care of the common ground, like you see, yeah, they have volleyball courts, they have a brand new playground that was just renovated within the last year. They have a really nice basketball court, um, and the cool thing about this community is that every single house that's here is backed up to a lake. So you don't have any back neighbors. You only have your side neighbors, or if you're a corner unit, you only have one neighbor to worry about. Most of the properties are about almost an acre. Some are a little bit bigger, some are a little, just a little bit smaller, you know, depending on how it is uh, on, the, on the road or whatever. But, you know, to have an entire community with almost an acre lot of properties is, Kind of unheard of down here in south florida which is why you may be a little surprised with the with the price uh when i show you remember there is only one property for sale here and uh what we're gonna do is a little bit different than i, I usually do i usually start at the at the more most affordable property and then i work my way up to the most expensive today we're gonna start at the most expensive community and kind of work our way down to the most affordable property in Davie. So I will also be showing you that'll be property number three. The most affordable single family home in Davie will be walking by today. But look, you can see the basketball courts. They have benches, trash cans. The entire neighborhood is very clean, very well maintained. And uh, let's go and, and take a walk by the house. So you can kind of see what it is. All right, guys. So I'm getting ready to walk up to the house now. And I wanted to tell you um, a little bit more about the the types of properties that you're gonna see here. I'll take off my glasses now that there's no sun. Right now it's September 8th, 2023, and it's about 80, 85 degrees right now. So it's it's gorgeous weather, it's not humid, it's it's just hot, but you know, it's it is Florida, right? So most of the most of the homes here, like I said, they're gonna be uh, almost an acre lot. And the majority of them are gonna be one story, but there are quite a few two-story homes, that, you know, if that's something that, that you would prefer uh, one over the other. But right now, like I said earlier, there is only one house for sale, and that is this house right here behind me. Um, you have about a three to, now nah, you can probably fit about five to six cars, and of course you can park along the, the road as well. So it's got a pretty big driveway, nice entrance, double door entrance, three car garage. It is five bedrooms, four bathrooms, um, 4,700 square feet and about 50, a little over 5,200 if you want to include the garage. Um, like I said, it is backed up to a lake, just like every house is in this community. Uh, and they're asking 1.5 million. So 1.5 million, it does have a new uh, water heater and a brand new roof. So obviously it's, it's a lot of roof to cover. So that's already a big ticket item that will help you save money on your insurance, on your home insurance. So that's good. Um, I'm sure you, everybody has heard the news that there's a lot of insurance companies that are pulling out of Florida. So having a, a new roof on a property like this is gonna be huge. And the best thing is this entire community was built in the early 2000s. So that home right there was completed in 2004. 
built in 2004 with a brand new roof, it's gonna save you a lot of money on home insurance. Flood insurance is also required and Flood Insurance 2.0 also kicked in last year, which now it means you're gonna have, you know, basically double the premium on, on flood insurance. If some places you were looking at $500 a year, you could be looking at $1,000 a year for flood insurance. So just to give you an idea of what insurance costs look like, I would say for a property this size with a brand new roof, uh, home insurance will probably cost you uh, anywhere from six to seven thousand dollars a year and the property taxes on on a house like this are twelve thousand dollars per year which obviously they're going to be reassessed uh, once the transaction closes uh, but yeah this is what you can expect to see in the Riverstone community in Davie Florida I'm gonna be going to check out other communities I want to show you guys uh, Flamingo Gardens I want to show you the rodeo voted as one of the best rodeos in the United States in 2020 and 2021 by USA Today. So I can't wait. Stay tuned. I'll see you at the next one. Hey guys, so I decided to take a little detour on my way to uh, one of the other properties because I wanted to show you the Shenandoah community. Uh, Shenandoah community is really perfectly located right in between 75 and 595 so you have easy access to wherever you need to go if you need to get south on 75 um, or you need to go across 595 to go to Fort Lauderdale it's just, it's just an excellent location uh, I know I have a lot of clients that like to look in this area I've sold a few homes in this community um, and there is one property for sale that I'm getting ready to walk up to now uh, they just had a recent price drop. It's been on the market 46 days, uh, 723,000. It is four bedrooms. It's the house right there behind me. It's four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, almost 1908 square feet. Um, they, it does have a very low HOA, but there is, it's not a closed gated community. So there's, not, uh, there's no amenities or anything. It's basically just to make sure that everyone is keeping their house up nicely. Um, the HOA is only about $56 a month here, so very low HOA uh, in most of this community. Uh, and you'll see that it, it ranges between uh, single story and two story, right? Like this one right here is a single story. The one on the other side is a two story. So it does range on the, on the type of models that you have and the sizes and you know? all. But um, a lot on, on these properties, the lot size are about 8,000 square foot lots. Uh, that's what you can expect to see. But this is just the bonus. It wasn't on my schedule for today, but I just know that it's such a area that people are curious about and I really wanted to show it to you. So I'll get back on the road and show you what I, ha I did have scheduled for you. I'll see you at the next one. All right, so the sun is definitely out again and beaming. Uh, right now, I've made it to the Forest Ridge community in Davie. And uh, the Forest Ridge is a bigger community and it has uh, some smaller sub-communities within it. Uh, so right now I'm in Arborwood and I'm getting ready to walk by a property that's for sale here that is uh, three bedrooms, two baths, 1,500 square feet. So it's more of your entry uh, single family home. Um, the lot sizes are about a little over 4,000 square feet lot sizes. So, uh, you know, a lot smaller lots, that way they can kind of put more single family homes, but they're still not attached. So they, they are still considered single family homes. I'm actually getting ready to walk up to it right now. It's this one right here behind me. Uh, they are asking $615,000. Let me just confirm the info. Yep, $615,000. Uh, the HOA is only $152 a month, and that does include uh, amenities like pool, um, tennis courts. Yeah, it's got some beautiful, beautiful walking trails. And it also is the only community that will connect to Tree Tops Park in Davie. Uh, you can just go on Google and, and check it out. Tree Tops Park is a beautiful park. Uh, it's one of the top rated parks in Broward County. So this is a community that's, you know, very family oriented. There's a, there's a lot of uh, trails. It's just very well maintained. Like the community itself has trails that connect to one of Broward County's parks. So that's how it's, it's really cool to be here. Davie itself is one of the, actually is the largest town in the entire state of Florida because it has over 110,000 residents. Uh, so you can just uh, imagine the, the size of Davie. I want to say it's 35 square miles. So if you look at my Cooper City video, 
Remember, Cooper City was only eight square miles, right? And then uh, and a portion of that was, was already water. So Davie is almost four times, actually no, it's four and a half times bigger than, than Cooper City. So it expands a much bigger range. There's a lot more things to do for families. There's definitely a lot of sports for kids, a lot of after school activities. The schools are great here in this area. This is, again, Arborwood Circle in the Forest Ridge community in Davie. The, the have property has been on the market about two weeks, $615,000. This is what $615,000 gets you in Davie, Florida. After this, we're gonna be visiting the most affordable house for sale in all of Davie. And after that, I'm gonna go show you the rodeo and I'm gonna drive by Flamingo Gardens, which is an amazing aviary. Uh, there's also a lot of farms. There's a, a lot of cool things for families here. So I'll see you at the next one. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so I also wanted to stop by and show you uh, some of the amenities that they have here at Forest Ridge. Now, one of the things that I also forgot to mention, uh, I know I said that they have a lot of different sub-communities, but I also want you to think about this. It's different sub-communities will have different types of homes and also different types of lot sizes, right? Uh, so not every single sub-community will have, you know, 4,000 square foot lot. You're going to have a much bigger, closer to a quarter acre or something like that and some of the different ones. And obviously the prices are also going to fluctuate depending on, on the type of sub-community. But remember, for $153 a month, they do have, let me see if you can see it pretty well, they do have a half court right here. They do have tennis courts. Yeah, they do have a lot of tennis courts, if you can see back there. Uh, they have pickleball. Uh, the trails, which I'm right by the by the main entrance behind me, uh, but you can see that it's all pretty much been built like a walking trail. They do have clubhouse with a pool right here behind me. Don't want to really film the pool too much because there, there are people there. Uh, they do have public bathrooms that uh, you can use. So you can see the public bathrooms right behind me. You can see there is a pool. Uh, and look at all the tennis courts up here so it's definitely a really cool community with lots to offer centrally located in Davie and now I'm getting ready to show you the third property I'll see you at the next one all right guys welcome back so we made it we're in the our very last stop for the day we're in the Summer Lake community in Davie and we're in the we're here to check out the most affordable home in Davie today and that is the the house currently behind me um, it is two bedrooms, two bath, 1360 square feet, sitting on a 6,300 square foot lot, asking 494,000. Now, the HOA is extremely affordable at $18 per month. So, Summer Lake is a community that was built in the early 1980s. Uh, this particular home was, was built in 1984. It was finished in 1984. And one thing that I've noticed is that a lot of the homes here are starting to get bought out and being completely renovated. Um, you are really nicely tucked away south of 595 and just west of Flamingo. So you're in a really good area with quick access to everywhere, wherever you need to go for Lauderdale or, you know, head over Flamingo down to Griffin and, and to 75 to head south. Uh, excellent area, great schools. You're in Davie, lots of things to do for the family. Thank you so much for watching. If there's anything else that you want me to cover, uh, now I'm officially sweating. <laughs> uh, any other city, any, if you have any questions about any properties you saw today, all of my information is in the description below. And uh, feel free to reach out and ask away. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so I made it to Flamingo Gardens here in Davie. And uh, I wanted to just take a second to, to show you Flamingo Gardens because it's actually one of our favorite things to do with our kids. It was established in 1927 and Flamingo Gardens is one of the oldest botanical gardens in South Florida. One of the last original jungle groves, the 60 acre not-for-profit botanical garden and wildlife sanctuary contains over 3,000 tropical and subtropical species of plants, trees, and including 18 of the largest trees of their species and is home to one of the largest collections of Florida native wildlife in the state. They also uh, provide home to permanently injured and rescued wildlife that cannot be released back to the wild so they can act as an animal ambassadors and educate the public about the Everglades and its inhabitants. So Flamingo Gardens is 
really inexpensive. Uh, it's only $20, $22 for the, for the tickets to, to enter. Uh, you can spend an entire afternoon here. And they also have like a, a yearly pass. I wanna say it's like 70 or $80 uh, where you can actually have access to Flamingo Gardens, Butterfly World and Coconut Creek. And there's one more that I can't quite think of right now, but it's a, definitely one of those great things to check out that you're not gonna wanna miss. All right, guys, so here I am at the Bergen, Burger and Rodeo. I probably butchered it, so my apologies. But I just wanted you to see, Davey is full of ranches. There's a lot of horseback riding there. If you want your kids to learn how to do horseback riding, there's definitely a lot of farms and ranches that will that uh, have that for kids around. There's plenty of parking. The USA Today has voted this rodeo the best rodeo in the United States in 2020 and 2021. So this is an amazing activity you can come do and check out with the whole family. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite community. If you, what else, what other cities or towns you want to check out in the South Florida area, I'm more than happy to show it to you. Thank you so much again for watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing another neighborhood tour very soon. See you soon.